Hello everyone, welcome back to Fresh Perspective um, and to this series where we handle 50 questions about passion and direction in life in 10 days. So this is video number 6 and uh, once again I want to encourage you if, the, if this is the first video you are watching, please write down your answers. Write down the questions and the answers or uh, discuss the, the questions with someone close to you. That bit of reflection and mirroring back that either writing down or a conversation can can give you is actually, I feel crucial to this whole process to act you, to to really get out of this um, these questions what they have to offer. So uh, we are dealing or handling question number twenty six today. So there it is. Question number twenty six is. Is there anyone in your life who is preventing you from pursuing your passion? Who are they and how are they holding you back? So I want to be uh, clear and remind you again, the questions are great um, because they, they change our perspective a, a, a bit and, and allow us to look at things just from a, a bit of a different angle. But the answers and writing down the answers are what's really crucial here. I know I'm, I'm repeating that because it's so, so, so important. You can think about these questions and it's a fleeting moment and it passes by. But once you write them down, who are these people? And then specifically identify, but how are they holding me back? And you can even ask yourself, um, this is kind of like a bonus question on this. Why am I allowing them to hold me back? What are your reasons? Uh, and really be honest about that. Question number 27 is this one. How could you communicate with this person or people to either gain their support or get them to step out of the way? And often we, we'll say, I've tried everything. Where in fact, we only try one thing and um, um, maybe half-heartedly try that thing. But really getting into a conversation with someone it can also be scary because now you have to put into words why you want to pursue a certain thing, why you love it, um, why you think it's a good idea for you, what value will it bring to your life. So I'm giving you lots of questions here. Please jot these down and journal about them as well. Because if you, if you haven't thought about those kind of things, um, it'll be hard to verbalize it. Um, it'll be hard to share it with someone else. And it will definitely be very hard to make a case for you pursuing that thing. All right, question number 28. Are you willing to disengage from people who are undermining your ability to pursue your passion in life? If not, why not? Okay, so this is, this is a big one. If you find that there are certain people that that's holding you back and you ask this question, will I be willing to, this is about setting a boundary and it might be a very extreme boundary. So one, one boundary might be I, I completely disengage with this person, um, but that might not be completely possible um, unless you take it very far. So it might be a family member, it might be a spouse or, or someone like that. And then you have to ask yourself, what kind of boundaries can I put in place um, in terms of how much influence this person has regarding me pursuing this passion and, and going for what I want in life specifically? All right, so it's, it's tough. It's a tough question. And you can, only, you can only elaborate once you answer the first part. Are you willing? Are you willing not? Do you think you must? Should you disengage? You should probably say yes or no. So the question is, are you willing to do that? Are you willing to do that? And of course, if the question is no, then uh, that's a whole new journey for you. That's a why not? And then you can, you can calculate the cost. Why am I willing to sacrifice this for, uh, you know, um, to, to keep this relationship as it is? Or the other way around. If you say, yes, I am willing to disengage? Why am I willing to um, let go of this relationship to pursue a passion? I hope I've made that a bit more clear and given you some more uh, food for thought. So next, do any 
people close to you have genuine concerns about your life passion or your ideas. How can you address and overcome these? So this is people that really care about you. They're not just blocking you, standing in your way. They care about you and they are concerned. So it might be that they are not educated about your passion. Maybe they don't know uh, enough about your passion. Let's, let's use an example like someone who wants to go into social media marketing, but you have parents or a spouse that knows nothing about that world, doesn't understand it at all. So that might be an uh, opportunity for you to educate them about the possibilities and how it actually works and why it's a viable option for you specifically. So it's about really also challenging you to, to um, construct, to verbalize uh, exactly what you want to pursue and how it's valuable. So that education allows you to do that, challenge you to do that, invites you to do that with the people that you, you care about and care about you that are genuine concerns. The next question, number 30, will link with uh, day 7 or video 7 in this series. So question 31, what hobbies or interests have you had in the last few years that intrigue you and that you might consider pursuing as a life passion? So maybe you're at a stage in your life where you're reconsidering where you're, you are aiming your life and where you are heading. And that's part of your process at the moment. Uh, and this is to reflect back on what are some of the things that have intrigued me. And if you are someone that, that uh, journals, it'll be great to go back and work through this. Because often we have like a, um, maybe a specific uh, stage or period in our life where we get very excited about something specific. But then life happens and the regular routine happens and we kind of forget that and leave it by the wayside and this invites you to go revisit that and say okay maybe maybe i should take steps um, to pursue this and the reason you might discover that you left that behind is the the passion that you previously investigated a bit is because of the people so the other questions that we've already handled right about the people that might st stand in your way um, consciously or unconsciously, um, maybe that's part of the reason why you stop that. So this this is how this links. So how or uh, what are those passions or things that you were interest, interested in, and how can you maybe revisit that? Find the words to explain it to the people near you. Find the people that you might bounce it off, and ask questions to about that. It might help you get more perspective, you know, that fresh perspective that helps you actually transform your life, gain new insights. I want to jump to day seven, uh, to question 31, and just show you this. This will be, uh, this links to the last question, question 30. So are you willing to spend time pursuing these interests to learn more by volunteering, part-time work, uh, interning, finding a mentor, etc.? So it's a, it's a follow-up question, but it also starts off um, video seven in this series. So are, are you willing? And I, um, the question is not must you, should you. Are you willing? Are you willing to do that? And if you answer yes to that, then it's, you know, it's about integrity. Because that's a little promise you're making to yourself. I am willing. All right. What's the action plan to get there? Um, Okay, I think that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you to reflect on this. Write down, and of course, if you want to um, work more closely with me or want to engage with me, there you can book a free consultation call. And what, what that really is about is to see if we are a good fit. So what you need and what I can offer, does it link? And if not, can I help you find someone that might be able to help you in that specific area? All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.